That's right. All right, so the Art Jacksonville helps people in our community with intellectual and developmental disabilities to reach their full potential. And they've been in business for over 50 years, and they have something that they're working on right now, which is truly amazing. They're actually they're creating the Art Jacksonville Village, and our Elizabeth Campbell has more. I had mixed feelings. Mm -hmm. You know, one week I was, I was good with it, one week I didn't like it, you know. Biz Wickenden says she's gone through a lot of emotions recently. It's because she soon will do something she's never done before. I'm going to be living on my own. She's going to be one of more than 100 people living at the brand new The Art Jacksonville Village. I'm going to be moving in at the end of July. It's an affordable, independent living, apartment-style neighborhood designed to maximize community inclusion for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I am so excited about this whole move-in idea. And all along, with Biz growing up and having a sister and a brother at home, I've tried to teach her as much as I have them that, you know, you do your own laundry, you learn how to cook, and Biz cooks one night a meal. One night a week, she cooks a meal. Biz's mom, Gail, says she's, of course, nervous for her daughter to live alone for the very first time, but is even more excited about the opportunities Biz will get. Even when her brother and sister went to college, they wanted to come home every weekend for a while. And that may be the case with her, too. She may end up wanting to come home, which is fine. So, and we'll come over and visit her and be able to spend time with her and her friends. Jermaine Collins is also looking forward to soon be moving into the village. More independence. Yeah. Way more independent. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. He's been involved with the Art Jacksonville for many years and really enjoys being a part of it. The group therapy, it, it teaches me to learn how to, you know, deal with people more, you know what I'm saying? And, and it also teach me how to um, deal with my emotions more, so I won't get upset so easy, so I really like that. The Art Jacksonville board member, Ward Laracy, was also the interior designer for the apartment. He's proud of the work he puts into the models and says it's been quite a fulfilling job. And the most exciting thing when you see the young people walk into these apartments and see what one day will, well not one day, but very soon, will be their own home. They were so excited, it was just like Christmas every hour of the day. Vice President of the Ark Jacksonville Village, Crystal Mikowski, says the staff can't wait to see the residents succeed on their own and become their most confident selves. They will have increased self-determination. They will be the ones deciding what time they wake up, what time they eat, what do they eat. So I feel that having the freedom and having staff behind them, encouraging them, believing in them, as well as their families, that the potential is off the charts. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. All right, the grand opening of the village is Wednesday, May 18th, and people are invited to go check out their homes. For more information, to learn about the art, go to thearcjacksonville.org. Are you getting...